Is it going to play music? No. Go on. Hmm. I love it when this happens. So, welcome back everybody. We're going to be taking another little look around the uh, planet. So far the umbilical has been working just great. So I've got a shuttle on the end there. Decided to put a bunch of lights in. I don't know if I showed you those yet, but we've got these lamps everywhere for the night cycle. And then I put green in everywhere. So we've got this various road and path everywhere. And it cleaned off all of the road surfaces as well, obviously. Um, and then today what we've done is we've just put in a public docking area for people to come and land their ships. Uh, the logic set up to turn the light on to light your ship up from underneath when you're docked. It's designed for only small ships. This one's a little bit big, but it's fine, you know. Um, and then after I'd finished making that, because the idea was to make some public storage areas for guests in here, but um, just here we're going to have the quad, bu uh, the dune buggy has its own garage. So you can come in here and check it out. And using the orange hull in contrast with the purple or the black light, sorry. Get these vibrant colors. That's white down there. A nice mix. And glass door and glass. And as soon as I'd finished doing that, I decided to move up. We've got this staircase here. We've got this upper command area. Probably where I'm going to put all the computers to do with the uh, deep, the deep raid, the deep space radar. So they've got a couple windows. Tried to mix up the the ribbing a little bit from different patterns. Get a nice industrial feel. So it's built into the mountain. So uh, if you go inside, we've got a crazy color change. So it's real colourful. I'm gonna, probably going to put white hull in the roof just so I can keep the colour which is up there. But an interesting thing is, look at the look at the colour on that. That's normal orange, same as this, only it's saturated with black light. Um, and yeah, it does crazy things. Over here we've got red at the bottom and orange at the top, with a contrast of green and brown. I think that comes out really nicely. Observations of the planet. And we're going to get some more screenshots of shadows on again. Um, then down here, this is going to be a little hatch to uh, drop down here because I haven't really had a look around my planet down here. Got some crazy stuff going on. I might build a vault in the back there. But. Um, that's going to be how you'll get up. I'll probably put a gravity elevator to get in here. Um, but then back here is something we had a little bit of an experiment with. Got Cambots here right now. Let's open this. And off he goes. <laughs> so this here is something I was just messing about with. Probably going to mess about with it more. Oh look, we've got someone else here. And yeah, look at this warped effect. It's weird, it's like the cube always faces you. <laughs> so yeah, we've used uh, beacon circuits over here, and obviously all the different colors in a pattern there. And I think, I think that's everything I've done today. It doesn't seem like much, but it did take a while. So, that's it for today. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching. And we'll see you all next time. Welcome to the 